contract by work that is a dis- Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Good evening, Sister Claudia. Go ahead and share as you join. Good evening. Welcome, Chevy. Good evening. Mr. Keisha, welcome. Hallelujah. Somebody go ahead and share. Sister Kayan, welcome. Sister Keisha. Welcome. God bless you. Hallelujah. Good night. Good night, everybody. welcome hello sister sophia how are you i pray all is well i pray everything work out for you and your family welcome let us pray amen Fred, Minister Jolene, welcome. Let us pray as you go ahead and share the broadcast. Let us begin to thank God Almighty, who is the head of this ministry that is keeping us alive. Let us give him thanks. Let us honor him. The songwriter say, Oh, come, let us adore him, Jesus Christ the Lord. For he alone is faithful, for he alone is worthy. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Father, we just want to thank you for your goodness and your mercies. We just want to bless you, Lord. We want to honor you. Oh, God, we want to adore you. 
You alone is worthy. You alone is faithful. Heavenly Father, we ask you this hour to take charge of the atmosphere. We ask you to show up mighty and strong. We ask you, Lord God, for any sin that we have committed to forgive us, the known and the unknown. Oh God, we come into your presence this moment and we ask you for a cleansing. We ask you for a washing. We ask you, oh God, to fix us in our right mind that we can move in your direction in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, we thank you for the Holy Spirit to his head of this ministry. We thank you, Lord. And we welcome the Holy Spirit to come and take charge, to come and take over. Tonight we open our mouth and we declare that divine favor will be our portion. Tonight we open our mouth and we make declaration that divine favor will be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight we open our mouth and we declare that it will be well with us. Tonight we open our mouth and we declare that the Lord will have his way in our life. Tonight we open our mouth and we declare that we will have victory over our enemies. Tonight we open our mouth and we release this word into the atmosphere that our house will be blessed. Tonight we release this word in the atmosphere that our enemy's neck is under our feet. Tonight we open our mouth and we declare every ill-spoken word that was released over us and our children. We nullify it right right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. We open our mouth and we declare that signs and wonders will follow us because we believe. Tonight we open our mouth and we declare that any hindrance, anything that is causing blockage, anything that the enemy is setting up to destroy us, to distract us, tonight we open our mouth and we take victory because victory belongs to us. God has already given it to us. And the Bible reminds us that he is able to do and he is able to go beyond our imagination. He is able to go above and beyond our imagination. So we decree and we declare the scriptures to manifest in our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree this year tonight that we will never lack any good thing. Our children will never lack any good thing. Our grandchildren will never lack they will never be in lack. The spirit of lack will never be their portion or our portion. We decree and we declare that this message will go to the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Holy Ghost. We welcome you in our midst. We welcome you. We call it out tonight. Even now, oh God, I cover myself in the blood. From the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, I cover our speaker tonight, Lord God. Use her mighty. Let your will be done in her life. Let your will be done. We call it out and we call it done. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody go ahead and share this message. We open our mouth and we declare that it is well. Our enemies are under our feet. Your neck. God has, a, God has already given us the neck of our enemies. So we are not defeated. It doesn't matter what they are saying over there. It doesn't matter what they are doing over there. Their neck belongs to us. It doesn't matter what you heard. It doesn't matter what you see. Your enemy neck belongs to you. Amen. The neck of your enemy is yours. The neck of your enemy is yours. And every disappointment 
is meant for another appointment. We are not defeated and we will never be divided. We are one body. And we give God praise because he's a good God. We decree and we declare it done in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. We decree and we declare it done in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen and amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Forgive my absence. Ay, ay, ay. You know, God is, God is doing a new thing in this season. And we just have to allow him to do it for us. Amen. We make declarations. And we believe. Sister Jackie, welcome. God bless you. We confess with our mouth. And we believe in our heart that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead and everything that he said about us, it will come to pass. Whatever prophecy you receive, it will come to pass. If it's something good, claim it. Whatever God said about your life, I, I declare tonight as you open your mouth and pray, pray and believe that he who brought you this far will take it to the perfect day of Jesus Christ. God don't lie. When Jesus was on the cross, he said it is finished. And yes, it was indeed finished. Amen. Now I'm going to invite our guest speaker, hallelujah, to bring forth the word that the Lord have prepared for us. So if you're just joining, my son, Joseph, welcome. If you're just joining, welcome. May the Lord touch you tonight. May the Lord breathe afresh upon you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome. Good evening, Pastor. Welcome. As I look at, I, I, I did everything I could to be here. And so I can't be in here with any 
<laughs> knocking on my door. So I'm not home. You know, we have our little thing going. We pray to God to fix that for us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Are able to, we will be able to worship him with everything that's inside of us without limitations. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We welcome the blessed Holy Spirit. We welcome his presence. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. So, Holy Spirit, we just welcome your presence right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Good evening, Pastor Ratigan. Good evening, my brothers and sisters. It is Wednesday evening and it is Bible study. Amen. Amen. We are here to study the word of God. We are living in a time where the word is so important. Without the word, trust me, mm -hmm. a lot of things is going to happen. And if you don't have the word inside of you, mm -hmm. you cannot war the enemy Amen. with your Amen. flesh. If you war with your flesh, yeah. trust Amen. me, you don't feel epic fail. But when you have the word of God inside of you, the Bible says, study to show thyself approved. The Bible also tells us, we also pray and ask the Holy Spirit to hide the word in our hearts and bring it back to memory. So that when it's time for you to use the word, the Holy Spirit will bring it back to pass. If you don't study the word, then there is nothing that the Holy Spirit can store up inside of you. Amen. So the word is important. So we are here to study the word of God. Amen. 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 So we are going to pray and we are going to invite the Holy Spirit to come and dwell, to come and have his way, to do what he do best. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, as we come before you, God, so unworthy, so undone. Mighty God, we are nothing without you. And so this evening, Holy Ghost, we welcome your presence. We welcome you in our midst. We welcome you on this platform. We welcome you in our homes. We welcome you in our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and dwell with us. Come and feast with us, Holy Holy Ghost. We pray that just as the day of creation, the Bible said that you hover over the face of the deep. We pray that you will come and hover over us tonight. Move over us tonight in the name of Jesus. We pray that you will deposit what we need to be deposited in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask of you to wash us and cleanse us tonight. Remove everything from us that is not of you. Mighty God, tonight I pray Lord God and I ask of you Lord Jesus to be increased. My God and my flesh to be decreased in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray tonight that you your people will be edified. You will be glorified and the devil will be terrified. Mighty God, we pray in this time and in this season, oh God, to stand firm in you, not to look to the left nor to the right, but to keep our eyes steadfast on you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this evening for El Shaddai prayer tower. We thank you tonight, mighty God, for Pastor Ratigan. We thank you for her life, mighty God, for Father, bless her, cover her, strengthen her, and continue to use her mightily. My God, remember her family tonight. Father, we pray, God, for your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Touch the hearts of your people. Let them come ready to receive as we give you thanks and we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we are still in the book of Genesis. We are in Genesis 
chapter 2 last week um we stop off at was it 10 yeah 10 so we are going to um go into we're going to pick up back at 10 and go into um 11 amen amen so 10 reads and a river went out of eden to water the garden and from thence it was parted and became into four heads so a river went out of the garden of eden and then it was parted and so when it was parted it became in four heads Amen. Amen. And I have um, a definition. I have the meaning. I have the meaning of a river. It says in Hebrew, it's called Nahar. And it's spelled N A H A R. Nahar. It said the meaning of the word river, a natural stream of water, a fairly large size flowing in a, def in a definite course or channel or, or series of diverging and converging channels. It says a similar stream of something other than water a river of lava a river of ice so you have and we know that lava ice is like it just go into a channel straight line right so the meaning in hebrews for river is na is naha na is nahar nahar amen and we know that a river is a natural stream of water, a large size flowing, and it flows in a channel. We know that a channel, like um, I don't know if you if you remember this um pastor, but like as a little girl growing up in Bodo, right? When the rain fall, when the rain fall and the water settle, right? We used to go right there and we used to like use a stick and we open like a little channel. And you see the water does start flowing in a straight line, right? So this is um, what the, 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 the word is telling you that um, the river, it flows in a channel. Amen. 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 So the it, it also tells us of, um that it was um parted in four heads, right? So four, the letter four has a lot of significance, right? We see that on the fourth day, on the fourth day, God created, right? the material world was created on the fourth day amen we see where the sun the moon the stars all of this was created on the fourth day we see that no the four cardinal points north south east and west is four also right we see where the even the cross, the cross of, of four points, right? Right. We see even in the book of Ezekiel, with the four creatures. These four creatures, we know that they are angels, right? They are cherubims. They have four faces, so they don't have to look where they are going. 
because there is a face on every side. So we see that the number four has a lot of significance. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, so we see where it says that, and it became into four heads. So we're gonna do um let me see did I do the no 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 process all right so we're gonna go on to verse we are going to um verse eleven amen then it says the name of the first is the is called the Pishon. Some call it the Pishon. Some call it the Pishon. That is that it is which compasses the old land of Havela, where there is gold. Right? So this is the first river. The first river is the Pishon river the meaning of that one is called the great outpouring full flowing fully diffused it spread out right perfect sustainability being carried to the highest degree this is what they are saying about this river right and it's the 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 Pishon. the land of havila the meaning of the name is that differs so that suffers pain that brings forth so the the meaning of the word havila is that it suffers it suffers pain that brings forth right it says avila name mentioned five times in the bible both as a personal and place name the name avila was applied to the territory watered by the python river we see in genesis 2 verse 11 right that that's where it was mentioned for the first time right it says which was noted for choice gold bedillium and lapid lazul in genesis 2 verses 12. so we know that bedillium they're talking about perfume they're talking about um the like a incense from this land when you study and try to you know gather information on this it tells you that you know scholars is saying a lot of different things but i don't know I think that after the flood came, all these rivers, I'm not gonna say they, they were dried up pasta, but I think that they were hidden. What's your thought on that? It's not just the river. It's not just the river that were hidden. Um, remember, the garden been hidden since the flood. So the river is hidden in the garden. Yep. Mm. I'm, I'm listening, but I'm thinking back as you're doing this. Yeah. You know, we're doing this also on Sundays. Yeah. So I'm here. And I, I don't know, my brain works over, my, my brain works over time. 
So I'm, I'm not comparing anything. I'm listening and I'm processing the prior studies. You know, everyone have a different revelation, but it's the yeah. same incident from yep. one of a different revelation from the same incident. Yes. Yeah. So um, I'm listening. I'm not gonna comment. I'm listening. I'm processing to see if we what, what we have to do because we are on the same page. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you understand um, me. Yes. 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 It makes. What am I saying? Does it sound? So we are all doing this. We are mm -hmm. in it. But um, I'll say more. I'll say more at a different time. Okay. Because <laughs> this is what I was going to say. I was going to say that um, this is how the Holy Spirit works. The Holy Spirit, you will read the same verse, the same yeah, scripture, revelation. and He gives you different revelations. Yeah. But as far as what took place after the flood, yeah, it's the same yeah. thing because. The river is associated with the garden and they, no one knows what happened since then. The right. God did some things and it hasn't changed. Has not changed. It's, that's true, Pastor, because they know. God, God right. did some things and it hasn't changed. But I'm, I'm, I'm processing like a year from now how... To, to to balance this, to structure this. I think we're gonna have to do our Bible study on Zoom. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yes, yes, I do. Go ahead. Because when you think about it, um, Pastor, it's like you, you, you don't find nothing much about. It's just like, like scholars just coming up with something. People are assuming. Assuming. They're saying, oh, it's here, it's there. No you know? one knows the truth. No. But it, like I'm gonna be honest with you, it's like what was that? I, and take it, a verse, verse eleven, or verse ten, verse ten to what? Verse um, I'm I'm at eleven right now. Mm -hmm. Right. And when I when I um even try to go, you know, you know, you go and Google. You try to see what they're saying, like, you know, just to get the meaning of the word and stuff. And it's like, when you look, you see so much things. Sometimes I'm like this. I'm like, no, this is too much. And this yeah. is not coming from, this is not God. This is just people saying. There are no proof. No proof. Assumption. I'm not, not going to lie to you, um, Pastor. I was at a point where I remember one night I sat up and it's like from the moment I got home from work and I, I eat some food, I took my shower, I did my, I read, I know I was studying. I was up studying until around after 12 and I was stuck one place. Stuck just to find out this thing about the river. And it's like nothing was, and I say, Lord, I said, I put down back the Bible and I put down everything and I say, Holy Spirit, I am waiting on you to help me with this because, you know, I don't want to, to just write something that somebody said. The meaning and all of that is okay. You understand? 
but to right where they're saying, oh, and the river is located here and the river is there. No, because as far as, because sometimes when I try to process it faster, it's like, it's like, um, you know, I start thinking about it and it's like, you know, something like the Holy Spirit say, I go too far, back up. <laughs> you know, and it's like, we have to just come back like, okay, God, you are God and you must know. And if you hid it, you must know why you hid it. Because when Wait, you stop. check it out. Stop. What did the Bible said about things that's hidden? Anything that's hidden, it don't belong to us. It's God. It belongs to God. Yeah. And this is why you're doing what you're doing. And I'm focusing on the Bible study we have in church on Sundays. It's also online. And the Lord is telling me that we're going to have to do things different. So by the end of this month, everything's going to change. Amen. It's gonna be for all good. Yeah. Yeah. It is well. Amen. Amen. Continue. Mm. So they say in this um from this river, this river it it compasses the whole land of Avala where there is gold. You see where they even talk about this gold, where they're saying, oh, um, in Asia, is where all this beautiful gold is. So it's in Asia. It's so it's hidden. It's hidden. It's so much. If some, they found gold elsewhere, that's okay. That means the land is blessed. There are parts in Africa that have diamonds. Yeah. People dig their backyard. And People are mining. old, they dig it in their backyard. So God is the one that blesses the land. And, and the Bible said, I think it's in Chronicles, First Chronicles 7 and 14, that if my people who are called by my name should humble themselves, seek my face and turn from their ways, then I'll hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sins and I'll heal their land. Yeah. So some lands are blessed. Yes. Some lands yeah. are cursed. Yeah. Some lands cannot prosper. Why would God say then I'll heal the land? Mm. It means that there are some locations yeah. they are powerful once you enter those lands you set foot on those lands your life will never be the same yeah because at the time remember the children of israel they were sinning you want them to turn from sin and from their wicked ways yeah. it wasn't just sin sin Ask for forgiveness for yeah. their sins yeah. and turn. Yeah. So it means that they were not only in sin, mm -mm. they had turned to wickedness. Yes. Remember, earlier we spoke of, um, I don't know if when Abraham went to, um, you're not there yet, but we went there already. When Abraham and his nephew Lot. Right when they moved and they saw the land and uh, Lot, 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 the, Lot, Lot yeah. the way it looked it was beautiful to look at but it was cursed yes so mm -hmm. sometimes the thing looks so, so beautiful yeah some places are beautiful yes but the people are not, not blessed. Mm -mm. And, and, and so they struggle and they curse each other. Mm. They don't ask for forgiveness. Mm -mm. They don't seek 
God's face and ask him to bless the land. They curse. There are some places that you plant stuff and it never grows. Oh, yes. Because the land is not fertile. The land is not blessed. There are some places, if something, if you eat an orange and by accident you drop the seed, a year or two later, you, go. you, you get orange from the tree because mm. the land Jesus. is blessed. It's just the same as your ministry. You could have... <laughs> Plant from no I, I would need to go there. And nothing. I, I had a... No thing at all. I had a conversation today with a young lady. I don't know why the Lord lead me to call her. But a couple of years ago, we had a um, mission Ooh. in Fort Lauderdale. And the mother wasn't there. Mm -hmm. The mother didn't come. And the Lord said, I couldn't pray for these young ladies. I needed permission from the mother. This is what the Lord told me. I remember. I that. needed permission from the mother. So and one of them, the Lord you told me to you hold up the sword. So the one that held the sword, I spoke to her today. And... <laughs> She'll testify. The curse has been broken Amen. from her life. Amen. Thank God you. has set the record straight. Amen. And that's I remember that. Because it was on the platform. It was live. We were in sawgrass. Mm. And the Lord told me to let her hold the blade. Not the handle. The blade. Mm. And hold it. Usually, the Lord would allow me to give them the handle and hold it with them. But God did something. Mm, 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 mm. We give God praise. Somebody shared about it. Yes. Her whole life has changed. My God. Everything. Yes. Everything. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So, I told her mm. that before this year is out she have to come on the platform because the thing already happened everything is happening fast Ooh. back to back doors open you're broken mm. you know Hallelujah. we don't take god's glory we mm. give all praise and honor oh god hallelujah the thing the lord used me to say to her of all these years i knew you it was for such a time as this Amen. Because when I met her, I was in sin. She was in sin. We used to scale fish. I never scaled fish in Jamaica, ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nope. And I came to America. Life was so bad with me. I used to have to scale fish. Now, you see, I just want to give God praise. There's nothing wrong with it. I like mm -hmm. to do it for myself. But the time came when I moved to United States. I've never done this thing in Jamaica. Mm. And the Lord brought me to America. And the time came when I had to sit down in a warehouse, in a cold warehouse, in a cold room to skill fish for money. And I did it with... Mm. But I thank God. Amen. To God be all the glory. Wow. Jesus. What when I was God. with her praying, the Lord told me to tell her, if he can clean me up, he can clean her up. Amen. No. We bless God for her life. Yes. Amen. Amen. God changes to her in such a way that she don't even have time for social media. Wow. My God. What a mighty God. What an awesome God. Jesus. And this was two years ago because I remember last year we were in um, 
think sunrise and the year before we were in saw grass mm. so it was two years ago oh my God. When, this is why when we're doing mission it's not going to be a lot of people it's not going to be comfortable but we thank God for obedience mm. Amen. So you're sitting there doing Bible study. Just watch God. Amen. I don't have much to say to you. Just I'm all I'm gonna say, just watch God. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you, before before I came on. Um, like today while I was at work. So, you know, it's like, I just feel my head like with a little funny feeling and I go like this. Then, you know, I came home and um, by the time I was in the kitchen, I was about to make something to eat warming something up to eat and all of a sudden I feel a kind of way and uh, like I say like you know sometimes you know you let little things slide you know and it's like I was there and you know sometimes the Holy Spirit have to come and say so you're not gonna say anything you're not gonna do anything and it's like, I say, I say, what? I said, the blood of Jesus. I said, God, whatever you say about me, don't change. And I said, God, all your promises are yes and amen. amen. I said, so now I said, I cancel you. I say, I bind and I rebuke you. And I start to call out every... Ah, oh, let me tell you. And pastor, by the time... You say, Bible study. I say, all right. Let me tell you. I go in the bathroom and I start worshiping. I start worshiping. That thing after those back up. I say, eh, eh. I say, let me tell you. I say, devil... No matter what happened, as long as I'm doing the work of God, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do it with pleasure. I'm gonna do it, and I say, and you cannot stop it. I say because God of the final say, Amen. I'm thankful, you know, to God for humility. And uh, many times when I think about the things and the challenges and the way that, you know, God didn't allow us to allow our flesh to get in the way. I'm thankful for humility. And that's all. Sometimes I want to say some things. And God said, no, don't say anything. I'm talking about great things. He said, no. You know, the Bible said when Joseph was ministering to his father, Jacob, Jacob never dismissed any of those prophecies. He paid attention. Yes. He did. knew there was something special about the boy. Yes. He gave him that coat of many colors mm -hmm. he knew that he gave him the mantle in the family because he was the only one who got it who was qualified yeah. yes. so there are times when we just have to know that this is god's doing and when mary received the prophecy about Jesus, she. Bible says she kept it in her heart. Yeah, ponder on it. 
you know so it is well amen you know, times when all the things that we plan to do for the lord we don't get to do it so god will allow us to do one one work sometimes we are only called to do one work up we have a checklist of things for the lord to do you know mm -hmm. some sundays i go to church to preach and to teach and to pray the lord said one, day. one or two scriptures that's it that's not my doing so we have to allow god to use us there are people waiting for their breakthrough and God is sending them in our direction so we can pray with them, not pray for them, pray with them. Amen. And if uh, we're going to focus only on what we came to do and not listen to the voice of God, people will miss their breakthrough because of our disobedience. Many people miss their breakthrough because the leader is disobedient. God tell them, strike the rock. Instead. And they strike the rock. And then God said, today you're not going to strike the rock. You're going to speak to the rock. Wow. And they yeah. strike the rock again. again so yeah. don't end up believing that there is a God. Jesus. Because they have seen the rock stroke before. But they want to see something new to prove God. Some people are on the verge of suicide. Amen. And by you being obedient to God, it can bring them back to the fold. Amen. So it's not about what we have here. It's about what he is telling us. We come prepared with everything from god but god said today i'm going to do it different amen mm -hmm. he said i'm going to do it different pay attention yeah. listen i'm going to talk to you just if you love me obey my voice yeah. we are praying to god but we are not sensitive to his voice we are praying, but we are not listening. Mm -hmm. God is never going to stop speaking. But we want, we hear what we want to hear. Yeah. And sometimes what we hear is from man. Yeah. Because what God is telling us, we're not prepared to do it. We're not ready to speak to our rock. So people can know that there is a God who performs miracles. Many times we want to just strike the rock because we're familiar with that already. Yeah. Lay hands on the rock break. And God is saying, speak to that situation. Command that rock to crack. It is well. It is well. It's not about us anymore. The world know what we look like. We're on social media every week. So it's not about our looks. It's about what's coming out. What we hear, what God said. And we, we repeat after him. And, and this is why as big as the Bible is, we can never finish it. Even if we've been through it 55 times, 66 books in the Bible. Well, in the Catholic book, it's 72. <laughs> yeah. We can't finish the prayers. Because you can start in Genesis and end up in Malachi. You can start in Malachi, you end up back in Genesis. You can start in Malachi and end up in Revelation. So as big as 
the Bible is. It doesn't matter what you pray for. There is always something to pray over. Amen. So we pray that your ministry will never be dormant. Amen. That the ministry will take off. In the name of Jesus. People will start looking for you. Jesus. One woman of God said, I don't know how she meet El Shaddai, but something happened and she never see me on social media anymore. And for more than two years, she had been looking and never see me. So you see, sometimes God hide you. Yes. And then one day, I don't know how somebody shared it. And that was the day she decided to start following me. You see, many times we take things for granted. Yeah. Because we have access to it. Oh. But when it's gone, we have to thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody said for fresh oil. We yeah. cannot remain the same minister, Julene. Mm -mm. So don't feel bad if God said he's going to turn things in a different direction or he's going to change it thing a little bit yes you know you know not everything is good not everything after we receive testimony then we can share it but when it's in process when you're under pressure you can't sometimes you can't even breathe so you can't tell anyone what's happening sure. you hope for the best and pray to God that you you don't die before all this is done Amen. you get to live to see Oh yeah. The hand of God upon your children's life. Amen. You know? So when you're under pressure, just don't crack. There's a reason why you're under pressure. Amen. Go have to go through fire. Yes. <laughs> Amen. <Go. laughs> you see? Gold, that pretty yellow gold or red gold or white gold, it has to go through flames of fire. Acid has to be poured on it for it to shine bright. Amen. And when it's going through those chemical changes, it don't shine. It's getting cleaned. Watch God. Just watch God. He Amen. never lie. He never lie. He's not a liar. Watch him. Amen. If somebody can come out of a family curse, dangerous family curse, witchcraft, all kind of craft, there's no limit to what God will do for you. Amen. But you have to believe. Amen. Amen. And sometimes, if you're not under pressure, you won't pray a certain prayer. Oh, that's... Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes, if you're not under pressure, you won't be able to open your mouth and declare certain things because it's not needed. A certain prayer point won't come. Amen. But we thank God Amen. that he's still in the miracle business. Amen. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. God don't lie. Hallelujah. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. The song of I say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cry. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank God for saving me. Hallelujah. <laughs> if we only knew some things that God is doing in other people's hey. lives, mm. we would jump for joy. 
Jesus. There was a man went to church and he didn't have on any shoes. He was poor and he went to church and when the music hit the man, the Holy Spirit lift the man out of his chair. He had a bad tour. That man did not remember that he had a bad tour when the Holy Spirit took him out of his seat and shoot him up into the roof and drop him back down. The man received his breakthrough that night. Hallelujah. It was when he went home, he remembered he had a bad tour. Mm. It hurt up. He didn't feel it. So I'm here oh, yeah, 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 mm. to share this with you tonight. Mm. Carry this with you. Carry your cross. Let this be your cross. Mm. And don't complain. Hey, hey Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey. Mm. Ooh, Jesus. You can talk about it after your breakthrough come, but while you're going through it, be quiet. <laughs> Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. I'm just saying this word of wisdom. While you're going through this, don't say anything. When the breakthrough comes, you can talk what Amen. you used to go through. But while you're going through it, humble. The, the word said, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, and he will lift you up. Amen. God, Amen. And so, Bible study. <laughs> Continue. Hallelujah. Mm. To God be all the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is here. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I can tell you that the Holy Spirit is always evident before we were talking about seeds you sow your seeds and you sow a seed and you know see nothing happen but i can tell you this is a fertile grown not every Grown your toe on and it bear fruit. So we give God thanks, give him all the glory, the honor, and the praise, and we give him thanks for El Shaddai prayer power. We give him thanks for you, Pastor. I, I could have make some noise, but I can't. So I have to just. We bless God for your life, and we are praying because we know that it is not easy to be mm. humble mm -hmm. and that is something that we have to pray for humility mm. because when you're not humble a pride set in and pride lead you to downfall pride lead you to fall so we thank God for your humility. <laughs> and we are praying. I am praying for humility. <laughs> and I pray that, that my sisters and brothers too, I pray that you are praying for humility because we need it. We have to be Amen. humble. Amen. So, whatever God said, that is what is going to happen. And he said, Bible study have to be in one accord, and that's all it, it is, is going to happen. Is, it is in one, it is on right now, the Bible study in church, and the Bible study on Wednesday night, it's on one accord. Amen. I didn't say that. God said that. So Amen. He took me to a place 
a year from now. I'm done. Ooh, Jesus. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. My God, my God, my God. Hey. Mm. Brother Tony, I wish you could have started singing. I feel like running. <laughs> Skipping, <laughs> raise Man. the Lord. You have me singing Ooh. and dancing and running around in my house Sunday. Let me tell you, I feel like running. Hey, yeah, baba, she, robo, bo, 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 she, Jesus, hey, mm. hey, Jesus, mm. my God, Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Hey, Holy Ghost, hallelujah, Jesus, we give you glory, we give you honor and praise, mighty God. Mm. What a mighty and awesome God, Jesus, 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 my God, mm. glory be to God. Ooh. It is well. It is well. It is well. Hallelujah. It is well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Mm. We give him praise. All the glory belongs Ready to him. Done. Thank you, Jesus. Ready done. Hallelujah. Jesus. It's already done. Oh, yes, God. Mm. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh. Ooh. My God. Mm -hmm. It's already done. If I let I don't say no God arise. Hey. God arise. Let God arise. Thank God for His presence. You see, this is why when we pray, we have to welcome the Holy Spirit Amen. to take over. Hallelujah. We do it on our own. We have to let God arise. We have to let God arise. Jesus, you were ready. Let God arise. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the Lord have his way. My God. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> when I can't do what's in my spirit i just when i can oh jesus mm. Hey. Mm. it is well hallelujah god mm. you see if we read the bible carefully we get to understand that it was God who inspire men to write these things yeah. so we can have it as a guide yeah. to know how to live mm. among others. Uh, this is all it is. Yeah. So that's why we read the Bible so the word can be in us. But then we have to listen. So when he speak to us, after we read the instructions, and his ordinances walk in them then he will begin to tell us what to do guide our footsteps 
he visits some of us we're not listening so he come and visit us in dream because when we are at peace in the sleep we we are dead so all we will hear is his voice amen it's true, true. yes it's true. it is the truth <laughs> <sighs> Hmm. Hmm. My God. What does it pay a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Hmm. The Lord revealed to me, He said, many people are on social media and they are going through hardship. And people see them and they are going through hardship. People are jealous of them going through hardship. Because the life that they are living, that's not what God has for them. It's they're going through their hardship. And yet their hardship create enemies for them. And God has not blessed them yet. So there are some people that are jealous of you. And you're not where God has for you yet. This is just the process. And your process is causing somebody to, be, to, get, to get sick. Your process of hardship, of your fire that you're going through to process you, to make you shine. You're not shine. The, the, the thing that is there to clean you up, people see it. And they're jealous. When God revealed it to me, I didn't understand. I'm like, oh, God said, yes. People are jealous of the process that I'm putting my people through. If they only know that that's not where they're going to be, they wouldn't be jealous. So somebody see you, you are your children, and they're jealous of you. What are they going to do when the blessings come? What are they going to do when the real blessing come? Because whatever is happening is just to sustain you. While you're going through the process. Amen. Mm. <laughs> but I pray tonight for eyes to be open. I pray tonight that ears will be open. I pray tonight that discernment will begin to take place. Seeing beyond the physical. I pray tonight that people will begin to walk in the ordinance of God. Walk right, walk clean, so God can visit them and manifest through them. Hmm. Some people won't be able to stand before you. So they go on the live when you finish Bible study on Wednesdays. They know you and you know them. But they don't go on there until after you're done. They don't know what God will say. So they don't surface until afterwards. How could you be jealous of somebody that is going through a hard time? There are some people, God send them in your life because you're going through hardship and they are envious of you. What are they going to do when their season is over? They didn't water you when they were supposed to water you. They tried to kill you. Yeah. They didn't water you. You are meant to live. And they didn't water you. Hey, God. They left you for thirst. Hmm. God is beating some people that he sent to bless you and they didn't do it. Boom. God is beating some people that he sent to bless you. They didn't do it. God sent them to water you and to nourish you nourish you in many ways and they turn their back and god find different ways to nourish you so they enter into some bad season a lot of people are saying people put witchcraft on them 
disobedience is worse than witchcraft. <laughs> it's, the, it's their disobedience to God. Hallelujah. Some people are still asking God to take that burden from them. God said, no, I choose you to help Julian, to nourish her and her children. And you disobey me. So I'm going to move my lampstand from your life. Somebody in your family is going to get strokes. I hear the Lord said, so, and, and <laughs> stroke, stroke. Holy Spirit, I, I know that you have not seen this person. But well, maybe you have heard about this guy, Sodi. Yeah. I end up a shop down at the end. Somebody else, I go, just like you. I'm not look good. But somebody else, I go. Man, I saw Maybe worse than him. Jesus. For God be all the glory, the honor, and praise. So, Jesus. Hey, my katara by a kosu. Jesus. Hallelujah. I was somewhere else tonight. Hey. I wish I was somewhere else tonight. Hallelujah. I'm not right here. Jesus, Jesus, I have Jesus. Have your way, oh God. Hey, Jesus, hey, have thine own way. Jesus, hey, Kurababashi. Have your way, that is. Hallelujah. Hey, Hallelujah. The woman. Jesus. Hey, 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 in St. Elizabeth. No, the dolly wash out. Mm. A year ago, no, the woman free. Anyway, they bury you. It will never end well with them. Hmm. Ooh, Jesus. Mm, mm. Hey, 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 hey. Hmm. Oh. Oh, Jesus, 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 hallelujah. Jesus, hey. My God. God said, don't worry about your enemies. He already put their neck under your foot. Ooh. My God. Sometimes some people do some things and then think they will get away. Because they didn't know that you were going to commit to God's work. And so as you begin to work for the Lord, He begin to work for you. He begin to work through your children. The fear of God right now, the Lord said, is upon your children. Them. 
the fear of God is upon your children. Hey, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Ooh. Mm. The, the the expectations of the wicked will never happen. I hear the Lord said he's gonna use it to feed them mm. <laughs> with the word. Not only with food, but with the word. He's going to use you. He said, I'm going to use her to feed them. I didn't come here for this. Lord, I didn't come here for this tonight. Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. But you know what? This, this, the Lord is telling me that you felt this. You didn't know what's coming, but you know something is coming. You didn't. You don't know, but you, you feel it. You feel something. You don't know, and it makes you excited because you don't know what it is, but you know something is gonna happen. Ay, 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 ay. Yes. We thank God for His goodness and His mercies. Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your enemies can't come near you. And sometimes the people that we love, they turn us over to the enemy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who named Busha? My older brother. When they? England. Yeah, all right. Well, so, sometimes he is, sometimes he's not. Right now, I don't know. He when last thing, when, when last thing go on? Go on, um, was it last year? Last year. How long is it? I think it was like a month. Pray for him. Some things are come out and more not right. Yeah. And cuss everybody. Everybody. I don't I don't I don't know if I've ever spoken to him, but the same. I'm mad. When we say mad, upset. You follow him? No, um, no, not him, but the other one. That's okay. I'm talking about the name of the God you for call. Yeah. In the spirit, somebody chop him up. In the spirit, chop him up. Mm. And then back, chop him up. In the spirit. But he don't believe nothing. He's that type of... Oh. He's ignorant and he loves he war. He doesn't believe nothing. And, and you know, um, I remember the Lord, I got a, a vision where the Lord used me to pull him out of a house. Pull him out of a house. And when I call him and tell him, you know, he was like, oh, sister man, such and such, but... I know exactly what God was using me to pull him out of. Yeah. And then chop him up and I'm back, back, no, back, back, no good. Back, no good. And chop him up. And I'm going to have core fish fry and put it with salt. And chop him up. But tonight, you know, God remember you and your family. 
the good and the bad. And in everything, God has the final say. So, Amen. and you got that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God. You say the fear of God is upon your children. Thank you, Jesus. They are praying. Thank you, Jesus. They are prayer. Hallelujah. God said your children, especially the big one, they are prayer. Thank you, Jesus. She's praying. She might not be praying how you would expect her to pray. But the fear of God, she been through something recently. Brought her to a place. <laughs> it's only between she and God right now. I don't know if she tell you, but in the realms of this spirit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> She know I you worry. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord sought them out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she had some, she had a rough time. <laughs> Why God bring me there? <laughs> Holy Ghost. It's a very clear. Yeah. There is nothing hidden from the Holy Spirit. Nothing. And God is faithful. The Bible said He's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins when we repent. Yes. And He wants you to know, don't worry. Don't worry, Minister Julian. Amen. I'm just trying to shake myself out of this. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Genesis chapter 2. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get ready for your blessings. That's all I can tell you. Thank you, Jesus. You know, the woman only have one encounter with Jesus. And when she had that encounter with Jesus, it was the first time she met him. And she ran up the water park and go to the city and go tell the people and come see a man. Tell me everything about him. Come see a man. Amen. Jesus. So she had an experience where she couldn't keep it to herself. God bless her. Mm -hmm. I thank him for his goodness and his mercy. Yeah. You know? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sister Michelle, just draw your cutlass. You don't even have to say anything. Just draw your cutlass and do what you have to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Say Jesus, say Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey Lord, I thank you. You know, we just have to bless God. Yes. He can never give us another blessing. We have to just bless Him. Thank you, Jesus. My God. My God. Thank you, Lord. I thank you. Jesus, yes, Jesus. Your holy name. You are high and lifted up. Yes, God. And yes. there is none like you, Jesus. You are, awesome. you are high and exalted. Amazing, exalted above nations. And we thank you. Your mind. All the glory, the honor, and the praise belongs to you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Mm. My God, your grace and mercy, mighty God. The same God who make a way mm. in the Red Sea is the same God who we are crying to. 
and is still the same powerful and mighty God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Mighty God. You know, sometimes you lock up in your house and you ask God to open some doors and the moment you run into certain people, that person have all the information that you need and they just volunteer and give it to you so you can go to the next level. Amen. Yeah. Sometimes you have to make a move and that move that you make, it has nothing. It sometimes it seems as if it don't even make sense, but after the, at the end of the day, the things that took place, you thank God that you move. Amen. Obedience. Amen. <laughs> You see, God put jewelry in the water for stones. That's all it was. It was not for anybody to take it out to make any trinket, trinket yeah. or to treasure. It was supposed to be there. But because of sin, because of sin, sin was the reason. Yeah. For all this to be taken away from us. Sin. Sin. Yes. Why did the flood come? Because of sin. Yes. Why was Adam and his wife kicked out of the garden of Eden? Because of sin. Yes. The sin is the reason for us to sit here assuming what God did with his own things that don't belong to us. Amen. People are going to school to study. Yes. To go and find something that is need that will never be revealed. That, that is hidden. That, that will never be revealed. Because it was not hidden by man. Uh -uh. Noah had no power. He was just obedient. When people when people despise what he was doing, it didn't stop him. So whatever you're doing for the Lord, it doesn't matter how people feel. Don't stop Amen. to please anybody. What is your assignment can never be somebody else's assignment. Amen. Huh? May the Lord bless you, you know. As I was driving in the taxi earlier, and I saw in the spirit, I heard the Lord said, raise your hand and bless my people. Amen. <laughs> so Amen. Yes, sir. That the Lord will bless every one of you yes, according is. to your prayer requests, according to your obedience, mm -hmm. according to your walk with God, according to your faith. You will never be blessed beyond your faith. Hallelujah. It's what you believe. Amen. The Bible said, God bless you according to your faith. Amen. Because it's measured. So may the Lord bless you tonight. Jesus. According to what you believe. Many people are limited because of where they are. But I pray tonight. That you'll be blessed. That you'll be blessed. I pray tonight. I release blessings over you. I send blessings to your home tonight. I send blessings to your home. Blessings to your home. Showers of blessings. May the Lord pour blessings all over you tonight. Over your children. Over your space. Your personal space. I decree and I declare blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare blessings over you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Mm. My God. Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Jesus. God will meet everyone at the point of their need. So you don't have to do anything extra for God to meet you at your need. You are already at a place in your faith. And that's where he will meet you. If your faith is up here, God will meet you up here. If your faith is down here, God will meet you down here. So wherever your faith is, that's where God will meet you. Amen according to your faith Amen. so you cannot blame anyone for what they get from the lord because god is giving you according to where your faith is if your faith is a five then you will receive that type of blessing if your faith is a million that is where you see it's where your faith is people of god no one can rob you of your blessings oh yeah jesus Mm -hmm. yes. Lord, hallelujah. You know, there are some people that think other people are getting what belongs to them. God, don't do that. God, give you according to your faith. Amen. So if you're going around with an unbelieving heart, <laughs> it's what you believe you'll receive. Amen. If you feel like you can still sin, and receive your blessing that is between you and god if you feel like you can live holy and righteous and receive from god it's between you and god <laughs> nothing is hidden from god nothing is hidden oh jesus hallelujah mighty god <laughs> Paul was intercepted on his way to Damascus. <laughs> Paul was intercepted on his way to Damascus. He was on his way to kill some people to get pay. Yes. But God had a better plan for him. Mm. So God stopped him, blind him, put him down for a couple of days, mm. bring him back to sight, and he began to work for the Lord. Amen. So anyone that was paid to hurt you, may the Lord stop them. Lord. Anyone that is on assignment to destroy you and your family, may the Lord intercept them. May the Holy Spirit redirect them. Anyone that is fighting against your ministry, May the Lord change their heart. Oh, Jesus. May the Lord change the heart of the people that are paid to mess you up. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the Lord fix it. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of young people are dying. And I'm watching the news when I get a chance and I read the news. No old people are not dying. Young no. people that are talented, who God has blessed, yeah. they are being killed. And the way they die, it's simple stuff. So tonight I pray for divine protection over you. Mm -hmm. 
can't. I can't shout. So I just got to release it in the atmosphere. I declare divine protection over you and your family. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Jesus. Minister Julian, you have anything to say before we go? Go ahead. I was thinking your grace and mercy brought me to and it's like just by singing that song it's like the Holy Spirit have me start preaching and I was preaching to myself and I was Thank God, your grace and mercy. I said, it's not the good that I have done, God. I said, but your grace and your mercy, Jesus, has brought me through. I said, it brought me through the hills and the valleys, God. And I was just preaching to myself. And I said, God, your grace and your mercy. So, yesterday, this is what happened. I was at work and um, it's hot. When I tell you it's hot, it's hot. And so, because I'm in the kitchen and I'm wearing full black, no AC in the back. We have one small fan, the fan, the fan no big enough to share. But you know, sometimes, I just stand right there in front of the, just push it up and just stand right there be, before it. Sometimes it have a shear. And I'm telling you, it was so hot. Yesterday morning, like around 10, we opened like around 10.35, 10.45 in the morning. And we are trying to get the food ready and stuff. And by the time I walk over by the sink, I see the whole, the whole place went dark and the light, the power went out. So the power went out for, um, on the whole building because it's a build, it's a, um, like a strip. They have different um, restaurants and stuff on it. And one of the lady came out and was like, I don't know if they tell you, but um, there is no power in the building and so on. It was so dark in there. so. I had to use my phone light. That's right. Right. And so we begin to share the rest of food out, pan them out and stuff. And, you know, I called the, the boss and I was telling her that it's hot in there, but there's a mesh that she bought. And I told her that I was going to climb up on the ladder and put up this mesh just so that we can open up the doors so the flies don't come in. So, you know, I tell you, I've never sweat like that. When I tell you, I sweat, I sweat, I sweat, I sweat because it there so hot. The heat, remember, no power now, no fan, right? It, it's dark, and I'm knocking the other lady holding this stuff, passing it to give me, and I'm knocking. Put this thing up. Anyways, like 45 minutes before the power came back, we don't know what happened. We don't know what caused the power to go out. But anyways, we are there for the day and doing some prepping. And the, you know, we still a complaint say it's hot in there. It's hot. So um, we open up the door. So when we open up the door, the fly start come underneath the mesh. So <laughs> we have to start. Um, Get rid of the fly them now. The door of the clothes. Anyways, um, the sun went out and he the door. You open it and just crack it a little bit. And when he crack it a little bit now, you know it was there and you know the breeze up you know the heat I got through, so it's still hot, but it was not so hot. But anyways, it's like you know I was standing there at the sink and it's like 
I heard, to me, I heard somebody talking, like somebody was about to come through the door. But I was looking and I don't see nobody. All of a sudden, I only see, I only hear this, this sound, mm, just move. And when I look, all I see was the door swung wide open, Whoa, all the way. I thought the door fly off. Wide open up. When the door wide open up now, I run to the door. When I run to the door, let me tell you something, Pastor. When I push my head out just a little, when I see all the debris just coming. Real wind. I tell you, I feel back up. When I back up, I see all the stuff just start wheeling in. And I'm telling you, the door was just laid. It's the widest I see the door open. The door, like the door, did they have fight fees in life too. <laughs> I'm telling you. And then the breeze just come back around and just slam the door. Boom. Pastor, I am telling you. That is real. Then, real. then we see the light flick two times. Right? Me and the lady, and I look at her and I say, just like that. That's how Jesus is going to appear. And she said, Twinkle and that, that, that's the same word I use. I said in the twinkle of an eye, and I said the Bible said that some will be having party, some will be in the fields, and Jesus is gonna make his appearance. <laughs> mm. Pastor, you see, by time I got a phone call, no, I said, you know what, let me call the girls to find out if if they had any rain, anything. When I call Sarah and son, she was like, Mom, we have no power over here. I said, no power? She said, no power. She said, Mom, it's so scary. I said, what happened? She, trying, she started to explain. First, I said, when I got home, let me tell you what happened. I called a ride. When I called a ride, I said, you know what? Let me go to the store and buy some kango because I don't want to come home and then there is no power still. So I went in the store, buy the kangos, checking for the Uber. The Uber still said 10 minutes. I said, no, that's, that's a lie. When I check again, it said one minute. I go outside, go in the car. When I go in the car, the car can't move. All of the signal then gone, dog. <laughs> All of the signal then gone down all of the tower cell tower signal went down power line went down power outage i am telling you in less than 15 minutes you know what got me so i was laughing at when everything happened and finished that's when the phone go off bop, bop. i said shut up i said this is all Oh, you know, God is in control. I said, the weatherman did not see this. I said, the energy, the, the power and light, they, they did not see. Nobody see this coming. Because it's, if they saw it, it's when they see anything, um, Pastor, they post it up. They send you an email. And they say, oh, this is what's going to happen. So this tells me this is God. They did not see this. This thing just come just like that and just pass. And I'm telling you, all you only hear is people crying. I had to stand there because the man kicked me out of the car. So he can't carry me. So I stand there and I had to call another ride. It takes a long time for me to get another ride. But anyways, by the time I get home, it was like around this time. And when I got home, my kids, they said they were over by the McDonald's. <laughs> my other son took them out to go to the McDonald's to charge up their phones. And I said, why you take them across the busy street? You know, and he was 
saying there's a stoplight, they go through the stoplight and stuff. They came back and Sarah was like, Mom, I just want to go to my bed. I know she was scared because of all that of what she experienced. I'm telling you, Pastor, we were out of power for the whole night until after five this evening. When power came back, I think it was five o'clock this evening. And that happened, I think, um, 4.20 yesterday. Right? Let me tell you. No food can prepare. It's the first time my phone was right there. Can do nothing. Can you use the phone to do nothing, Pastor? The phone was just lying there because the phone can do nothing. I couldn't post up the scriptures like oh I would you use you normally do. Mm -hmm. Because no every cell was down. The cell mm -hmm. was down. You know? And you see when I see this, it's like it, it opened up my eyes. And I was telling my children, I said, this is how God is going to appear. I said, and everything is going to go down. And I said to them, I said, so you see, this is preparation. We have to pre prepare because it's going to happen. Well, my son, he was like, mom, you just want these things to happen. I said, no. Yeah, I said no, but it, it will happen. You understand, Pastor? Mm -hmm. So, you know, nothing couldn't, no food couldn't prepare. My phone is dying. Yeah. Everything, everything, they had to buy food from out uh, on the street because, you know, nothing can prepare in the house. But you know, I just give God thanks and praise because at one point, it's like, you know, the enemy, I say, well, mm -hmm. you don't have to do no Bible study today. You don't have to yeah. go up alive. Okay, you don't have no power. And I was like, I am getting myself ready. I'm finishing work as I'm going home because Bible study. So no matter what, I know. And you know what? I do just want to give God thanks and praise for all of that because he is a mighty God. Amen? Amen. 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 So to God be all the glory. We are still here and we thank him because so much things happen. So much cars pile up yesterday. Because of that one little song. So much people were so upset. And why were they upset? They're upset because they did not have no AC. You're and they're not prepared. Have, right. They didn't have no current. So they say that they're mad. Right? But to God be all the glory, we still give God thanks and praise. <laughs> Amen. 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 So tonight yeah. we're going to come to, we have come to the end of our Bible study. Mm -hmm. And you know, tonight Bible study was not like the normal. We give God thanks because the Holy Spirit, as usual, he showed up and he diverted the Bible study mm -hmm. because he is in control, not pastor and I. But he is in control. And we have to be obedient. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So to God be all the glory, the honor and the praise. And uh, you know, I just pray that my sisters and brothers, that you come receiving, ready to receive what God has in store for us. Because God has so much in store for us. You know, God don't reveal everything. Even with prophecy, he said he prophesies 
in parts so you don't show everything because you know i think if if god allow man to see all this thing man get ahead of himself mm -hmm. you understand so we have to just go through our storms we have to go through our tests we have to go through we make mess we have to just go through but we have to to go through knowing that God is with us and he is for us. The Bible says if he is for us, then who can be against us? He said what shall I say unto these things? If God is for us, then who can be against us? No demon, no devil. Amen. Amen. So to God be all the glory, the honor, and the praise. We give God thanks for your life, Pastor. Amen. We thank God for you, you and we pray blessings over your life. Blessings, blessings. And we pray that God will continue to, to bless you, to sustain you, to con continue to use you, continue to pour fresh fire, continue to use you like never before. We pray that God will bring you before kings and before presidents. We pray that God will take you to places where not even you imagine that you would have been. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we thank God for you. We thank God for your children. And we cover them under the precious blood of God. And we just bless God and bless his people amen. amen amen hallelujah thank you jesus mm. it is well go ahead finish i don't know if you're gonna be able to because it would depend yeah but i pray that god himself will manifest his word in your life, God Almighty Himself will manifest. Amen. You'll be a walking testimony wherever you go. Amen. And it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Once again, I thank God for El Shaddai Prayer Tower. I thank Him for the truth, the gospel of truth. Amen. And I pray that I will never, at any point, no matter what kind of day I'm having, change anything about what God said. Amen. About the word of God. Yeah. I pray that, yes, I have to pray. We have to pray for ourselves yeah. too. Yes, yeah, you know, yeah. that our flesh will never get in the way of the work or the things of God. Amen. As we are currently working on the church building in jamaica we are asking for building fund yeah. yeah we are asking for assistance so when we get here in november we will be able to close doors and open doors based on the weather amen you know so we thank god for where we are amen. we thank god for where we are going and we thank God for his promises. We thank God for what he is doing, that he's proving himself every day in many different ways. And remember that it doesn't matter what we are doing, the devil will always find ways to come and steal, to kill, and to deceive. So we thank God that he's raising up a standard in this season to set us in order. When God raised up a standard, it's not just against our enemies. It's setting us in order. Yes. So I pray many people will begin to have their testimony. When testimony comes, people will begin to walk right. Many are waiting for testimony to walk right. So we yes. become open testimony. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Jesus. Mm. 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 Oh, my God. Mm. Father, take over. Take charge. The phone is dying, Lord, and you know we are here to honor you. We are here to serve you. We are here, Lord God, to walk 
in the light in your ordinances and we ask you to give us strength to continue in your will in your will not our will lord god in your will give us the strength to make it right with you lord god and for those who are backsliders watching tonight tonight we ask you to come back to the fold peace up peaceably peacefully and learn to forgive those who are fighting against you let things go tonight i beseech you by the mercies of god if you're watching and something is going on in your family let it go leave them to god leave it to god you cannot fix anything on your own leave it to almighty god yes, Lord. i ask you tonight people of god as you join faith with me to leave your burdens at the cross in the name of jesus christ of nazareth it is done Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Minister Julie, if you have anything to say, say, because this is about to go. I wish you could see, but you can't see nothing from where you are. <laughs> no. No. All I just want to say is, I don't know about you. I'm talking about um everyone else, but all i know is i see the spirit of god so heavy upon your life so mm -hmm. heavy red like fire oh jesus the spirit of god is so heavy upon you i know that if you were somewhere else I it would have been different my phone wouldn't die i can see i see that <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Tony, I tell you, Pastor would have run and skip just like you. Just, I'm telling you, running and skipping and just shouting. Hallelujah. The time is coming. Hallelujah. The time is coming. Yes, 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 yes. To God be the glory. Yes. Or oh, even with the, um, with the, you know this 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 is a re I think this is a revelation that I got. You know sometimes um we get hurt by church, but this is what the the Holy Spirit reveals to me that you see when you have a relationship with God, you will not turn away from the church. You will not. If you stop going to that one, you will find somewhere else as long as God is there. Because you're not going for the person, but you're, you're going, going for the Lord. because you have a relationship. You know. see, relationship is very important. And you see, when people don't have no relationship, then they will turn. So, this is my plea to the people of God. Relationship is important. Just as though you would have a, a, a relationship with your husband, your spouse, your wife, right? Your children. It is important to have a relationship with God. Because when you have a relationship with God, you will not turn away from him. So when you turn away from the church, you turn away from God. Hmm. And remember, Remember, the devil will use people to turn you, to get you away, to say, oh God, you know, so, mm -mm. Hmm. you have to know that, you have to stand up and know that what God say, God not change, his word not change, his promises not change. Hmm. You understand? You just have to go to your earth, go through your earth. But God will fix it. He will fix it. Amen. Mm. Amen. He will fix it. The relationship Amen. with God is very important. How do you have a relationship? By reading the word and applying it. 
So you have to apply the word to your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It is well. So, good night, Pastor. God good bless night. you. Good night, my brothers and sisters. God bless you all. It was a pleasure. Amen. It's a blessing. <laughs> it's a blessing. Always a blessing. It's a blessing. Amen. 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 God bless you. Bless you and be blessed of the Lord. It Amen. is well. Have yourself a wonderful evening. And I know Amen. you're going to be praying in the spirit. Because I am. Amen. And, and sometimes you see something's happening and you wonder. Why are these things happening? And God said, be still. I know I'm God. Amen. So let us trust God for our new beginnings yes. in this season. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor. Love you. Love you too. Love you with the love of the Lord. as well the phone is dying i wish i could be here longer but i gotta go everything is in red have a blessed night people of god and remember to be a blessing to the ministry so we can continue with our covenant seed and our charity be blessed and remember if god touch your heart to be a blessing be obedient have a wonderful night